Hello everyone, it's Miss Mayorga again. This is part two of lesson three in unit three. So in the last uh, video we left off, we finished off with bubble eight, and now we're gonna go ahead and pick up with bubble nine. In bubble nine, you can choose any of the following activities to work on and test your skills, practice your skills. Uh, I will be going through each one of these so that you can check the one that you wanna do. All right, so let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and start with A, then I'll move on to B and C but you are welcome to choose one of these three. Okay, A, debug a car. Fix a car. Oops, the red part of the car is hiding the wheel. Fix the program to match the picture to the right. Do this, read the code that makes the car. Change the code so that the wheels are visible. So let's see what's going on. Go ahead and click on the run button. Here is what we have uh, in the screen. And then in this picture, is what we want. We want the gray wheels to be on top, right? But right now the gray wheels are underneath the car, the body of the car. So what do you think we need to do to fix this issue? Okay, I don't know, I don't know what you said, but <laughs> hopefully you said something about changing the order of the blocks, right? So if we want this image right here, Think about what you need to paint, right? What you need to draw first. What would you need to draw first? Right, you would need to draw the squares first and then you draw the circles, the gray circles. So when we look at our code, we have to make sure that the computer is drawing the red squares first and then the circles. Right now, the first thing that's being drawn is the dim gray uh, ellipses or the circles. And then it's drawing the red rectangles, but we actually want to flip that order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move these three blocks, the fill, ellipse, ellipse. I'm going to move them down to the bottom so that they get drawn second. You can do this uh, by highlighting, click and drag. If you just click to the side and then drag your mouse, you can highlight all of these and then drag all of these at the same time. Or if you can't figure that out, you can simply drag each of these one by one, right? Fill, move your lips down and the ellipse down. So now the computer is going to choose the red color, draw these rectangles first, and then choose a gray color and draw the ellipses. And that should fix our problem. Let's go ahead and reset and try our code. And there we go. We fixed the problem. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on that bubble that says nine again. You can do the same thing. Now I'm going to go to uh, problem two here, B. Debug a flower. Debug. Debugging. Attach the petals. Uh-oh, the flower is missing some petals. Bring them together with the center of the flower to recreate the picture on the right. Do this. Look at the code that makes the flower. Change the code so that all the petals are attached to the center of the flower. Hint, use the grid to figure out where the petals should be. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the grid by clicking Show Grid. Right now, I have one of these flowers at about 300, 200. I think that's this block right here. But I want this flower to be a little bit closer and maybe i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna guess about right here which is 250 comma 200 all right so i'm going to change these values to 250 comma 200. let's see where that ends up we might need to fix that okay it's still a little too far so i'm going to shift it more to the left so my x coordinate needs to change maybe uh, 240, oh, excuse me, uh, 240 instead of 250. Let's see. Okay, that could work. If you want to make it closer, you can, you can adjust it, but I'm going to leave it there. Now I need to fix this circle right here, which is the center is a little funky, but it looks like it's at 240 and 300. That's this block right here. 240 and 300 that's the circle i need to shift this up probably about right here so maybe 225 and i'm looking at the numbers um that show up right here 
to look at the coordinates that I need. So 225 and 240 or 245. I'm going to say 225 and 240. You can you can use your numbers, but I'm going to put 225 and 240. And we'll see if that fixes it. Ah, that's good enough. That's good enough for me. You can adjust it if you want to, but now it looks more like a flower and the petals are attached to the center of the flower. All right. So we're done with this one and there's one more that I'm going to go over. In case you chose the stoplight, here it is. Okay, debugging. Fix the stoplight. This stoplight is all mixed up. Fix it so that it looks like the picture on the right. So this is what we want. A black background with a red, yellow, and green. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we have a gray background with a black red and yellow so it's a little messed up so again think about what you want to draw first right so what should go underneath what's the first layer underneath right not from the top but from the bottom underneath yeah the black rectangle the black background and then we draw the three circles so let's look at our code the first thing we should have there we go. The first thing we should have is uh, the black, right? The black color should be at the top. And then those are the rectangles. Now, after we draw the black background, the first color we want is red, then yellow, then green. Well, I guess that one doesn't matter too much. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. So we have, we need to change that first circle to be red. So I'm going to move the red block above the ellipse. Oh no, that's not what I, hold on, I'm too zoomed in. Okay, I'm going to move, oh no, it disappeared. Hold on. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see if this works. Okay, here it is. It's back. Okay. It kind of started us over. That's okay. So here's what we did. We moved the black up to the top. Then these are the rectangles that it's drawing. After it draws those rectangles, we want the first circle to be red. Then we want the next circle to be yellow. And then we want that last circle to be green. Right, so it's going to be red, circle, yellow, circle, green, circle. And hopefully that fixes our problem. Let's check it out. There we go. Red, yellow, green. The black background. All right, go ahead and click finish. Continue. And this is the last bubble we're going to do. Bubble 10. All right, bubble 10. Okay. Let's test our skills here. Debugging. Often code doesn't work the first time it runs, and programmers have to debug it. The code below is supposed to make the picture on the right, but the programmer got confused about which order the code should be in, as well as how to put a square right in the right place on the screen. Look at the code in the workspace. Change the code so that it makes the picture on the right. You'll need to move one line of code and change the coordinates of the square. All right, let's see what's going on. So it looks like we have so four orange circles, right? We do want that, um, but our square is gray instead of purple, and it's not in the correct position. So first we need to fix um, the order of things, right? Taking a look at our picture, what should be painted first? In your code, what are you telling the computer to do first? Okay, I hope you said draw the circles. Right, so the circles need to be drawn first and then the rectangle gets drawn. So let's go to our code. Uh, we have the fill orange and then the four circles, but notice that there's a block above that. That block should get shifted. Let's go ahead and move that block down. And now the computer is being told, hey, pick the color orange, draw four ellipses or four circles, 
Then pick the color purple and draw a rectangle. Let's see where we're at. All right, we're halfway, we're almost there. We're halfway there. Um, we have the four circles, but the rectangle's covering one of them. Uh, we just need to shift our rectangle now. The next task is to figure out where does the square go? What position do you put the square? Now remember that the position is determined by the top left corner, this corner right here. So think about where should that corner go so that the whole square is in the center of the circles. Where should it go? Where should it go? Okay, so hopefully you said something like right here. It should go right here uh, in the middle of this circle here. So that's going to be about one, it looks like 150 comma 150. So we want to shift this purple rectangle. And instead of 175, we're going to put 150 comma 150. And that should fix our problem. There you go. All right, so again, order matters. Um, and you also think have to think about the position for shapes. For rectangles, you have to think about where do you want the top left corner? And for ellipses or circles, you have to think about where do you want the center of the circle? All right, go ahead and click Finish. There is one more bubble, uh, but bubble 11, as I wrote in the notebook, is an optional challenge, all right? So I'm not gonna be going over that. If you wanna test your skills, test your understanding, get some extra practice, you can go ahead and go through these different activities. If you do and you have some questions, you get stuck on something, feel free to message me. All right, everybody, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in class. Goodbye, everyone.